looking good. So there's something in this crop farming then. Oh, might be. Stupid creatures! Go on! Get out of there! Get back from where you came from! Get out! What are you looking at? Hey! Hey, you bigger guy! Come on! Go it! Hey! Hey! Leave the beautiful woman alone! You're nothing but a cow! Arrivederci, bella signorina! Come on, bitch! Vieni qua! So much for the canola crop, not to mention my our labour. And the fence? Hello, did anybody just hear what I said? You went to pee and some dark-haired Italian saved you from a rampaging steer. Some gorgeous dark-haired Italian stranger. He was like Antonio Banderas. He's Spanish. So, Harry will have to pay, yeah? Oh, he'll pay. They're his cattle. Anyway, they just he just came out of nowhere, right? And he thought I was beautiful. I really appreciate this, Dad. Front room by the window, thanks, fellas. G'day, Claire. Where's the fire? No fire. Just an unknown number of your cattle on my property with a now useless canola crop stuck in their hooves. How'd they get through the electric fence? Uh, there's uh, been a bit of a problem with the computer system. Sorry about that, Claire. I'll send Alex over with the, um... Electronic reader. Yeah, that. He'll sort it out. Yeah, well, you might as well bring wildfire over while you're at it. I thought wildfire covered Blaze last time. Nah. I don't know what's wrong with that mare. She doesn't know a good catch when she sees one. More than likely, there's something wrong with the stallion. Just like your fences. Will you hurry up and marry her before she sends us all to the poorhouse? Those fences, you didn't somehow delete the automated program, did you? Look, I don't know how right those bloody manuals. I may as well be in Chinese. All right, Dad. I'll take a look. He had the most gorgeous eyes and his teeth were pearly white. What, like sharks? No, not like a sharks at all, actually. Oh, all the blokes I know. Well, he's not like all the blokes you know. I thought you had a thing for Alex, or was it Craig, or was that just a figment of my imagination? <sighs> Look, I was a lot younger then. Yeah. Oh, and it was so long ago. You don't understand. This guy saved my life. He could have let that steer trample me to death. The poor cow was probably more scared than you were. No, he wasn't to know that. It was so heroic. Good night. Good night.
Becky? You're not scaring me. Alberto and he needs work. So I said I was sure there was something he could do around here. Like the fence that the cattle trampled. The Ryans will fix that. What sort of work have you been doing, Alberto? This and that, working on farms. I want to see Australia before I go back to Roma. Are you holidaying? Yes. My mother owns a restaurant and she wants me to take over, but I'm not ready yet. Can you cook? Yes. We don't need a cook. What about the gutters? I mean, we haven't finished cleaning those out yet. Okay. Grazie. I mean, thank you very much. Oh, it gets pretty cold, so I uh, thought you might need some blankets. Grazie. Who's that? Girlfriend? Oh, that's my sister, Carla. And uh, here is Maria, Sofia. Gina and Evangelina. You got any brothers? No, I'm the only boy. Wow, these are brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks again for saving me. Oh, it was my pleasure. Uh, oh, do you want me to wash these for you? No, it's too much trouble. Oh, no, it's fine. I love to wash. <laughs> Ciao, Becky. Buona notte, Jody. A domani. What does that mean? See you tomorrow. Oh. Bye. Actually, he is pretty cute. I saw him first. Mom? What's the setting for jeans? Normal. And shirts? Hey, what's your shirt? I don't know, a shirt shirt. Oh, is it cotton or is it... Oh, I'm washing his clothes now. Don't put these in together. Hey, watch it. Oh, toast. Come on. Thanks, Mum. I've been set up, haven't I? Born to wash. Mm. Have you checked the pockets? Hi, Mum. My magic wand is at your service, baby. Take a cold shower, Alex. We've got business to sort out. I'll keep your shirt on, Dave. You know, Claire, since I'm giving you this $2,000 service for nothing, you might like to reconsider what I owe you for the canola. <laughs> You'd be grateful that I'm not charging you for the labor to re-sew it. I thought Jack was tough. Who's that bloke, then? It's Alberto. Daddy thinks he saved her life. What, and he's staying here, is he? Mm-hmm. You're not jealous, are you? Keep away. Huh. Hey, uh, how about a cuppa? Sure. Anyone else? Cup of tea? Yeah, thanks, love. White with one. Alberto, il te? Grazie, signorina. Prego. Oh, and a piece of toast would be great. You know, topped with a bit of bacon if you got any. Watch out, you'll be ironing his undies next. Are you wearing perfume? He's still hanging around. There are papers to sign. Perfume. This is 
well, Alberto's not staying longer. You need us out of house and home. I'll need a couple of extra bacon sandwiches for Alex too, thanks, Mick. He's a very hungry boy. What about Harry? Would he like some as well? Didn't ask. You know, I reckon Alberto could stay around here for a while. Nick might need somebody. You don't know the first thing about him, Jody. Well, I know that he's courageous and very talented. He's also an itinerant worker. Here today, gone tomorrow. Not necessarily. You know, I reckon if you wanted to stay around for a while, I'm sure you could find some work in the area. Hello, Alberto. Jodie, could you take that out to the others, please? Mum, now, please. You're washing. Grazie. Thank you very much. Listen, I know the score. You've overstayed your visa. That makes you an illegal immigrant. I'm not going to dob you in, but I think it's best for everyone if you move on as soon as possible. We understand each other. Where are you going? I have to. Why? I mean, aren't you going to stay tonight? No, I need to keep moving. I thought you liked it here. Yes, I do, Jody, but uh, I must go. I'm sorry. Well, I just wanted you to tell me that Italy, you know. No! Oh, Where'd it go? Snake. They're dangerous, but this one's pretty small. Oh my god. Are you all right? Okay, just relax, all right? That's the most important thing. Somebody! All right, just sit back, it's fine. Help! That's 15 minutes. Guess he'll live. You saved me. Hey, you saved me. Can someone please save me? Oh, he's boiling up, Mum. Are you sure he's not going to die? The snake was small. He's had the anti-venom. No adverse reaction. I'm sure he's not going to die. Right then. Drama over. Let's get back to work. I'll stay and look after him. I won't leave you. Needs all of you, does he? Got bitten by a brownie. Just making sure he didn't cark it. Stupid tourist. Hey, uh, Tess. You want to come give me a hand? He just clicks his fingers and off you run. I'm not the one wearing perfume. You're gonna be okay. More than okay. Tu sei bellissima. Tu sei il mio angelo. You need to rest. Don't leave me. I'm not gonna leave you. Instead of driving this cattle all the way back to Kalani, I figured we'd just stick them out here. Oh, we'll get clear to mine them. They're already on her land. No, no, no. She's charging adjustment fee. I don't have much feed on these paddocks, Dad. It's, it's a pity I don't have any decent irrigation. If I could borrow Dougie and Bruce for a couple of weeks. You can have Bruce for one week. Your cattle? All right, make it ten days. Where exactly did they get through to drovers? Northwest paddock. What do you mean, a stock route? I found them among the plans for Wilgle. Well, Dad never mentioned this. He might not have known. These plans were drawn up generations ago. Well, what does it mean, exactly? 
Right here in the northwest paddock, where you planted your canola crop, is the old stock route. That gives Kalani the right to drive livestock through to Wilgul, and vice versa. So Harry's not going to pay compensation. I would have thought he would have had the guts to tell me himself. Dad doesn't know. Yeah, well, you're going to tell him. I'm not his solicitor, Claire. This is between you and him. These Ryan guys cock up and then expect us to herd their cattle. Hello, Nick, I didn't see your bike. Would you like a coffee? No, thanks anyway. I'll leave you both to discuss it. What have we got to discuss? Uh, canola, Harry, money. I made it myself. It's delicious. Thank you for looking after me. Hey, you saved me. Twice. Patient feeling better? Much. Must be my soup. Still feeling hot and dizzy? Short of breath? Uh, yes. But uh, maybe not from the snake. You need to go and clean the troughs. When I finished, Mum. No, actually, now. And in case you've forgotten, you're supposed to be preparing for Miss Gungellan. Ciao, Jody. Don't get too used to being waited on. Hey, I didn't make the snake bite me. Maybe not. Need to rest up for your journey. How's it going? No action yet. Well, he might just need a bit more time. That's something I don't have a lot of. You know, there's always artificial insemination. I don't have a lot of experience in AI. Yes, but I do. <laughs> Look, if you like, I could stick around, and if he hasn't done the deed by tomorrow morning, we'll give it a go. Great. Well, that's if you've got the time. I've got nothing slotted in for tomorrow. Okay, then you're on. I'll feed you and give you a bed. Thanks. Hey. You could get into trouble from your mother. Oh, I'm used to it. Aqua, per favore. Oh, that sounds so beautiful. What'd you say? I'd like some water, please. Oh. To say bellissima. Oh, let me guess. You want to know where the bathroom is? I said you are beautiful. Forget Miss Gangelan, you should be Miss Universe. Hey. Checking you could draw me. I mean, when you're feeling better? Um, let's see. Hair is nice, thick, ears, nice ears, neck, eyes. I tuoi occhi sono come due stelle nella notte. Nose is perfect. And lips. Yeah, but as cattle women, they had a right to be there. I say what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Oh, yummy. <clears throat> Is this for me? Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> I like it. 
secret women's business, huh? Mm. Oh, is it OK to have a shower now? Yeah, yeah. You don't use too much water, mate. I get a bit funny about it. <laughs> He's sleeping in the spare room. Oh, yeah. Good one, Claire. <laughs> sleeping in the spare room. You're gonna say, I don't wanna hear it. I don't think you have much choice in the matter. Mum, I didn't sleep with him, okay? And I'm 18, I have a life. Not with Alberto. Oh, so with who then? Hmm, let's see, there's uh, Josh Mitchell, whose specialty is flashing his bum to passing motorists. Or there's uh, Shane McDonald. Yeah, Shane's really good at sculling a jug of beer in under 30 seconds. I like Alberto, okay? And he's not just good looking, he's gentle and he's so talented. And he's an illegal immigrant. He's overstayed his visa. <sighs> oh, quick, call the cops. Look, it might not seem a big deal to you, Jody, but he's going to have to go back to Italy sometime. I could go with him. I know how you feel, but you're only just 18. And you were married at 19. Yeah, I was too young. Oh, so I'm a mistake then, oh, am I? that's not what I mean, and you know it. Look, all I know is you are never going to be happy no matter who I fall in love with. Sorry, uh, I can sleep. Could have put a light on. Oh, I didn't want to wake anybody. Want some? No, thanks. Fine. Was everything okay? Oh, it's fine. It's just a strange bed, I suppose. Mm. Not that I slept that well on the road, but, you know, I can get up and prowl around, turn on the telly. Hmm. It's kind of easy when there's no one else to consider. I can never sleep when I go to the city. It's too noisy. Mm, me too. Heaps of people around, but I always feel lonely. Me too. And then the city people, they come out here and there's no traffic and no cafes and just this big open sky. And they say they feel lonely. <laughs> Idiots. Idiots. You sure? You know it's nice? Feeling like I don't have to make conversation. You'll be on your way soon then, huh? No, I offered Claire a hand with the service. Seems your stallion's still a bit shy. Shy.
Flasher? No, no, it's um, tinted moisturiser. Better be off. Hmm. Hey, that's my toast. Don't worry, next time I'll bring the dessert. Oh, almost forgot. For the canola. Thanks. What did you do, Mum? Tell me! Jody, you made him leave, didn't you? It was his own choice. Jody! Jody, I'm sorry I leave you like this, but... I don't want to get you or your friends into trouble. It is better that I go. Wait, no, you can't go. Okay, look, there must be something we can do. It's the law. Why don't you just apply to stay longer? You see, maybe they say no. And if I go back to Italy, I must go into the army for one year. I don't want to go into the army. You could be killed. Or I might have to kill. If it is my own family, of course, I defend them with my life. But I do not fight unless I have to. So I must hide like a criminal. Maybe not. Marriage? You gotta be joking. I'm serious. I don't want him getting killed. Scusi. I'm sure he can object to military service. But they might send him to prison. Scusi, it's... You don't get married for those reasons. You've only known him 24 hours. But we're in love. See, we're in love. And I promise you, Meg, I promise you, I will look after her. And you, I will be the perfect son-in-law. Maybe the snake poison went to his brain. Oh, come on, he knows exactly what he was doing. Next you'll be planting bambinos. <laughs> Don't go there. Maybe they are actually in love. Give me a break. Well, it does happen, you know? People just meet and it's instant. Yeah, in the movies. A guy looking for marriage, that's not normal. He might just want to stay in the country. I don't want a heart broken. Maybe I should talk to Jody. Well, she's not listening to me, that's for sure. All she's thinking about is dancing to the wind beneath my wings and how many bridesmaids. OK, Father, and how soon could we do that? Oh. Mm. All right, well, thanks anyway. OK, bye. Trust a priest to not want to cut corners. <laughs> Looks like a registry office is going to be the fastest way to go. Mum sends you to come and talk me out of it? No, no, my idea. Ah, uh, Alberto, if you wouldn't mind. I come back in a minute. Look, there's no denying he's cute. But think about it, you've only just met him. This could wreck your whole life. We're in love. Yeah, <laughs> you think you love him. I know, I've been there. No, I don't think so, Tess. Or well, you'd be married by now. I mean, do you love Alex? Well, what's that got to do with anything? Well, do you feel like you're dancing on clouds with every kiss? Um... Because that's how I feel when we kiss. And I want to keep that. You know, I don't want companionship or any of that stuff that old ladies talk about. I want the real thing. So what are you asking me for? She won't listen to anyone else. Oh, forget it. Be nice if it was true, eh? I mean, maybe she's got what the rest of us dream about. Maybe she's got a nightmare. I just need to be sure. So 
So the theory is we put one of these mares in with wildfire, he gets... Interested. Interested. And then we whip her out and he covers Blaze. Yeah, well, well, that's a theory anyway. Blaze is much better looking than any of these mares. Yeah, well, to us she is, but she could be a bit feisty for him. See, the suggestion is that stallions seem to go for the quiet ones. You mean they're like a submissive mare? Uh-huh. <laughs> Typical. Well, I mean, not all stallions are the same, of course. Some prefer a fiercely independent thing. <laughs> What are you doing here? I came to get Tucker. Becky said you wanted the fences in the West Paddock checked. I never told her that. Oh. I'm good with cars, but I know nothing about fridges. It's a little bit hot in here. Oh, a little warm. I checked the motor. You should take that off because you don't want to get it all greasy. No, no, it's okay. But trust me, Meg would spew if you messed up a nice clean shirt. Please. I never thought I'd get you alone, Alberto. It's okay. Jodie won't be able to marry you, Meg would never let her, but I'm old enough to decide for myself. You'd be safe with me. Becky, you are very beautiful, but I am in love with Jodie. I don't marry her just to stay in this country. I marry her for love. Scusi. Size ones earlier. Thanks. I reckon you got a good buy. Yeah, it needs some work, but I think so too. Did you tell Harry about the stock route? No. Nah. Alex? No. You two are very different, aren't you? Oh, I think we want the same thing, so we just go about getting them differently. Well, this bit of work. I don't think it needs to. I think they could be going to. Going to? I think they already have. Look at that stupid grin on his face. I think you're right. I wonder what made them change their mind. Well, maybe they liked each other all along. They just didn't want to come across as too macho. I think she was playing harder to get than she really was. Who do you reckon made the first move? That is disgusting. Look, Meg's got a lot on her plate, so we all clean up after ourselves around here. Uh, right? that's not mine. Oh. So it must be. Yep. Yep, I know. I'm sorry. Hey! Oh. What's up? I've been looking for you everywhere. Sure. You send me off on a wild goose chase so you can go and have it off with Alberta. 
I thought we were friends. It's not true. I saw you. I saw him leaving your place and I saw you both doing up your clothes. So don't lie to me, Becky. Don't you listen to me. It was a test. Yeah, right. I wanted to see whether Alberto was just using you to stay in Australia. You could have just asked him. He passed with flying colours. Nothing happened. He said he loved you. Really? Oh my god. Get out of here now. What's the matter? I did something terrible. I. I turned you into the immigration people. I'm so sorry. I saw you and Becky, and I thought. I thought you didn't love me. Oh, I love you every minute. I love you. That's why we have to go. No, I'm not going to run. I'll come with you. No. The immigration people send you back to Italy. And I should go back. Listen to me, Jody. I've been thinking. I don't want us to be running away like thieves in the night. I can't do that to your family or my family. So... It's over. No, no, Bella. I want to show you off to my mother and my sisters. But not in, in shame. I want us to be proud. I come back when I finish my army service. And then we can live free from fear. Forever. It's best. Sorry, Alberto. I understand. Mama probably do the same. I promise you're right. Every day. Ciao, amore. Did I say it right? Forgive me. What's there to forgive? You did this out of love. El nuestro amor es eterno. For everything. I don't think I did anything, did I? Well, it's always good to have someone to wrap it on to. Yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, see you in a couple of weeks. I said you'd have no problem with Wildfire. He's a regular Don Juan. Thanks, Harry. Something else. Your money. I reckon I don't want to be a crop farmer after all. No, 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 I couldn't. I mean, it's our fault the cattle got him. Now, in all conscience, you keep it. Spend it on something else if you don't want to be a farmer. Oh, one thing clear. Uh, if Blaze has a healthy foal, maybe we could do the same thing again for us down the track. Blaze and wildfire again. <laughs> yeah, of course, Harry. Keep it quick. Yeah, right, huh? Go washing. 
Thanks, hon. You shouldn't have. No, I didn't. What, you didn't do my washing? Didn't want to kill the romance. Like some comfort food. Wow, brilliant. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> you know, Alberto and I really are meant to be. I'm gonna wait for him. I know. <laughs> that whole year, it'll go like a flash. Mm. 